All right, change things up a bit, get a different angle. <laughs> now for uh, the the channels individually, we went over gain. Remember, the gain is like the water main. You're adjusting the water main. This is the signal comes in. You adjust how much water the house has by adjusting this gain. And um, we learned a little bit about how the system, how the mixer remembers and how you can go in between inputs 1 through 16, 1732, and the AUX inputs, and it remembers everything, all your settings. Now, what the heck do these do, though? Like, what, what is this, what's going on here? All right, so we have the water coming in the system. The water comes in, you adjust the amount that the house gets. Again, when I say house, I mean each individual channel, so think of these individual channels as houses. Then you, uh, from there, the water comes down. It does go through, we'll go through this a, a bit later, but let's, let's focus down here. It go, and I'll go over here so you guys can see a little better. It, um, it comes down and it goes through basically this, this single fader here. But before that, you have a few options. <clears throat> you have the option to mute the channel. Sorry about that. You have the option to mute the channel. Now, this is where it gets a little uh, complicated, and I need you guys to please pay attention because this mixing board can be confusing and frustrating if you don't understand this concept. Um, when you mute the channel, there will be one of two things that happens. Um, either the uh, channel will be muted um, and it will be solid, red, like this. Now that means it's muted. There is no sound coming out, uh, coming through this. Um, it's not even allowing it to come through to this fader here. The sound is, think of it as like a dam. The, the water comes in and it's stopped right there. So it's not, it's not being able to even come to any of this stuff or that stuff. It's stopped. Muted is stopped. Uh, there is an exception to that, and we'll, we'll talk about uh, that later. Now, you'll notice here that it's a solid red here. That does mean it's muted. But it's also blinking and flashing here. Now, both are muted. All right? This is muted and this is muted. So whether this... Think of it this way. If you see red anywhere on this, on this panel, that means it's muted. There is, there is no um, sound coming in the system on this specific channel, whether solid or flashing. Now, what is the difference between solid and flashing? Pretty much it comes down to grouping. Now, grouping we'll get into a little later, but basically what it comes down to is when we set the board up, sometimes you don't wanna be adjusting, um, we'll talk about these in a bit. You don't wanna be adjusting the faders uh, individually. You wanna adjust, uh, Say you want to bring all the voices down, not just one voice. You want to bring all four of our vocals down, but you don't want to do that. All right. Basically, that's where grouping comes in. And this is what's called the DCA groups on over here on this section. We have one through eight, and that is the first button here. That's how you access it, that there. Really, we pretty much use it for the guitars and the vocals on this on this um, uh, mixer here. One day we'll get actual uh, drum mics instead of just one. And one day we might have another stereo for the keyboard, but right now we just it's just mono. So really this is redundant. You don't really need this. It basically doing this and this, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, but when you have multiple groups, like take, just focus on vocals. That is the easiest uh, example because we actually do have uh, four vocals. So say we have this config configuration where the lead singer is, you want him to be the loudest or her the loudest. And this is, you got the mix in, you dial it in, that sounds good. You like this configuration right here. But say you want, it's the vocals are still too quiet. And that is a very common issue. The uh, instruments are just overpowering 
and you, you want to do this, you, you really want to raise everyone up, but say you don't want to do that. Say, you know, that's just too much effort to, to do that. So what you do is you come over here and you adjust your DCA groups. And pretty much the way this is configured is um, by raising this up, you are effectively doing that, all right? And the more you use it, the more you'll get used to it. All that to say is when this group is muted, this DCA group, it will flash. And it's telling you, hey, I'm being muted by a group. So if you hit that mute here at this group, that will unmute these guys. Now, what can happen, and you can see I got something going on there. All right, you have feedback. Now, what will happen sometimes is it will still be solid. It will still be solid. So you can still have these, um, uh, say this is muted, you unmute it. What the heck? They're still, they're still uh, muted. Well, notice that they're not flashing. They're not flashing how they were. That's because they're individually muted. So you got to go in and press them individually. And um, there are reasons you might want to do that. Say the one mic isn't being used, you can mute it, but you want the other three to be muted simultaneously at one point. That's when you would use that. I uh, hope that's helpful. Um, so get around, basically um, use, the, use the groups, try to figure it. So when you, <laughs> that'll be a very common um, thing that happens. You'll unmute something and it's still flashing. If it's still flashing, it's a DCA group, basically when it comes down to it. And when you unmute it, it's gonna, it's gonna uh, unmute all that group. All right, now down to faders. Faders are pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Uh, there is a little bit of a uh, learning curve with how to use them, but pretty much what you see is what you get for the most part. So the water comes in, it goes to the game, it goes to the, the, the master or the, uh, not the master, the, um, the water main. You adjust the pressure of that water main per channel. Now say we're focusing on channel 14, this bat lead, uh, this uh, background vocal for the keys. So the water comes in, this, so her voice is coming in through here and it is, I like to think of it, it's going like that. That way we kind of have a, a, fr a flow because it really does kind of do this. And um, it comes to here. Now, what would the equivalent of this be? You have the little dam here if you, if you want her to be muted. Uh, say she's unmuted, the water comes in. Now, this is the equivalent of the kitchen faucet or the bathroom faucet. So when you are... Uh, when you're turning something on um, in the house, you have to turn turn it up, right? You have to turn on the faucet, but it's not like turning the entire um, water, the entire house off and on. It's not like turning the the um, the actual water pressure off and on. So if you have low pressure coming in the house, the the pressure in the faucet isn't going to be affected much. And vice versa, if you have high pressure in the house, it's still gonna be uh, difficult to regulate. That's why it's important to dial in your gain, get it right at that sweet spot between 12 and 18 or so, uh, and that'll help you out. This is for fine tuning. This is for fine tuning, this is where your ear comes in. And you'll notice you'll have numbers here, you'll have uh, 10, five, zero, um, all, et cetera, et cetera. And you will also notice that the numbers get closer and closer together. So that means that the closer to zero you are, the more variability you have. Here's, a, here's an example. Look at this difference here. You have uh, zero to 20. Okay, I'll, put, I'll get rid of these to make it, to make it simple. Um, again, all these are the same, it's all, it's all identical. Zero to 20 here is about an inch and a half. It's about an inch and a half. It's the same, it's, it's, a, it's again, zero to 20. But the closer you get to uh, infinity down here, um, and I'm sorry if it's not called that, I'm, again, <laughs> uh, I think it is, the closer the um, numbers get together. So down here, we have four, uh, 30 through 50, and that's 20 as well. 
and that is about a centimeter. So the travel you have here, the closer you get to zero, is greater. Why does that matter? Basically, if you have all your gains set up in such a way where it's ultra sensitive and everything is down here, you have to be very careful, or if your master especially is down here, you gotta be very careful, uh, you know, if you're just moving it just that much, that's 10 decibels um, right there. So you gotta be, you have to be very uh, conscientious. It's better to have them, um, I was taught a guy, he, he actually tries to keep everything as close to zero as possible and then adjust the gain according to that. I don't know if that's a, if that's a, you know, smart method. I've tried that that way. I kind of do something in between. I try to keep it close to close to zero, but also adjust the gain um, so that these are hitting uh, somewhere comfortable that I like as well. Experiment, you know, mess around, um, and that will you'll really get a feel for um, the sound. But these are for fine tuning the uh, the the sound coming through the mixer. That ends this part.